Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are starting out with the skin and I'm priming using my Tarte Clean Slate Brightening Primer. Then for foundation, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This one is so full coverage as you can see, like look at that coverage. It is absolutely insanely full coverage and it lasts a really, really long time on my skin. So I absolutely love it and it is a pretty good match for my skin tone as well. Then I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Bisque, I think it is. It will be listed down below along with everything else. But I'm using this one to contour my face. So I'm just squeezing some product out and just basically putting it in all of the areas that I want to hollow out and sort of add some shape to my face. So just applying that using the little brush on the end of the product and then I'm going in with my Sigma F57 Emphasize Contour Brush which is amazing for blending out cream contour and I'm just basically stippling and blending this into my skin. Once I've blended all of that away, I am then just going back in with my foundation brush, which is the F88 brush, and I'm just making sure that all of those edges are really seamlessly blended. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using the Sigma Eye Base in Persuade, and I'm obsessed with this. It is like the exact same thing as MAC Painterly Paint Pot, and I'm just using a Sigma P88 brush to blend this into my eyelids. Then we're dipping into the Copper Spice palette from Morphe and I'm first taking this skin tone shade and I'm just setting my entire eyelid from the brow to the lash line and I'm just using an E52 brush to do so. Then I'm dipping into this really light peachy shade and I'm using this as a transition colour and I'm just going to be blending this into the crease and above the crease using a Sigma E40 brush. Then I'm picking up the shade next to that one and it is a very, very peachy orangey shade. I absolutely adore this colour. It's one of my favourite colours in the entire palette and I'm just doing the exact same thing. As you can see, I'm being pretty messy but we will clean up the edges a little bit later anyway. Then I'm dipping into this warm caramelly camel shade and I'm pretty much just repeating the exact same step. I really like to do this and just build up my colours, it just adds a lot of dimension to the entire look. Then I'm picking up two shades, I'm picking up a medium toned brown and then a really warm toned brown as well. The warm toned brown is very much like Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm just using a Sigma E25 brush which is a lot more precise and I'm starting to build up the outer corner in just sort of blend it in through the crease so it's a little bit more defined in that outer V. And I'm just really building up the colour in the outer corner as you can see and then blending it away. Then I'm dipping into another warm toned brown but it's a little bit cooler. I don't know, these colours don't have names so it's a little bit hard to describe them all but I'm just going into this colour and doing the same thing, building it up in the outer corner and then dragging the excess product right in through the crease and I am bringing the colour all the way into the inner corner as well. Then on a Sigma E45 brush I am picking up the black shade from the palette which is so super pigmented and black, I mean all of the colours are pigmented but this one is really good. So I'm starting with the E45 brush and blending that into the outer corner. Then I went in with the E25 which was a blending brush I used before and just blended out the shade just to make sure it was nice and soft. And then I went in with my foundation brush and just cleaned up the edge and made it nice and sort of sharp and precise. And then here I'm just taking my E40 brush once again and just really, really blending all of these shades out just to make sure everything is really soft and smooth and blended. Then I'm taking this gorgeous copper shade on my finger and I'm just starting to press this into the lid and I'm bringing this pretty much all the way over the lid 
So from the inner corner right until where I've got the black shade. Then I'm just going back in with my E25 brush and I'm just making sure that those shades are blended very, very seamlessly. Then I'm picking up the shade next to the copper which is this gorgeous foiled gold shade and I'm just pretty much placing this in the center of the lid and then bringing it in towards the inner corner so that it's kind of a mix between a copper and gold color. Then I just took the black shade once again on an E15 brush which is a flat to finer brush and I'm basically just creating a liner look on the lash line but without obviously using eyeliner it's a lot softer then I just took a black cold pencil and tight lined my eyes and then gave my eyelashes a curl then I'm applying a coat of benefit their real mascara and I'm going in with the Ardell foamy lashes in 812 now guys I really don't know what is up with my camera but it skipped my entire concealer and my setting powder but you guys have seen me do that a million times so I'll just list down below what I used. Anyway I am using the Makeup Geek contour pan in the shade Bad Habit and I'm just using an FO5 brush to carve out my cheekbones and then place some of that color around my hairline and my temples. Um, underneath my jawline and I really like contoured my jaw today which I don't normally do but I liked the way it looked so yeah then for blush I'm taking the Balm's Hot Mama blush and I'm using my F37 brush just to buff this onto my cheekbones and then blend it back Then to highlight my cheekbones, I'm taking this new highlighter I've got from Sheridan Cosmetics, which is an Australian brand. I just sprayed my FO3 brush with some Fix Plus, and then as you can see, it is so intensely pigmented. I absolutely adore this highlighter. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm applying it to all of the usual areas, and then I just took an F80 brush, which I had previously used like a day or two ago, and I just made sure that it was super blended out, just like it wasn't too pigmented. And then I just set everything down with another spritz of Fix Plus. Back onto the eyes, I'm mixing those two orangey peachy shades that I used originally and I'm just buffing those messily underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm taking that really warm toned brown that's similar to Coco Bear and just using the same E40 brush I'm doing the same thing just messily blending it in under the lash line. Then I picked up the black on my E45 brush and I just did pretty much the same thing and I did bring it all the way into the inner corner because I wanted it to be pretty smoky on the lower lash line. But then I did blend everything again with an E25 brush just to make sure, you know, things were blended. Then picking up the copper shade on an E46 inner, shade, inner corner shader brush, I'm just applying some of that to the lower lash line on the outer third and then going in with the gold sort of on the more inner third of the lower lash line. Then I started out using this shade in the inner corner but it just wasn't bright enough, I just didn't really like it so I then took the highlighter I used on my face and highlighted the inner corners using that. Then I just took my black coal once again and lined my waterline and applied some lower lash mascara to finish out the eyes. Then to complete the look, I went in with a lip liner from Models Prefer. It's in the shade Always Nude and I just lined my lips and then filled them in with the same lip liner. And then for the li liquid lipstick, I used BH Cosmetics in the shade Sandy and it's such a gorgeous nude. And that was the entire look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.